Hey guys, what's up? My name is DJ Fabian and I'm a producer from Italy. I'm using FL Studio 10 and um, actually today I'm gonna show you what I did here. I'm sorry if you can just see one screen, but I'm, I'm using a second one, but my recording program, which is Shadow Play, doesn't record this two screens. But anyway, I'm gonna show you guys how this is built up, like how I made this track. It's a remix from a remix of Dead Mouse. Um, he made a remix of uh, The Longest Road by Morgan Page and I remixed that again. And yeah, so basically we have vocals in it, we have some special sounds in it, a lot of, oh, like a lot of, yeah. Some small uh, automation clips and different tracks as well. Then in the mixer we have some stuff too. Um, this is not done yet, but um, I hope I can show you most. Um, so yeah, let's get into this. Unfortunately, I have to show you, uh, like, I have to show you the audio over my microphone because I'm using my monitors and the recording program doesn't record the audio from the monitors. Uh, but yeah, anyway, um, what what I I just let listen to you like a, a little part of it, which is this one. So that's basically it, so it, it's not that difficult, but I'm gonna show you the different patterns I made. Um, so once I have um, this serum here, this one here, this is the, really, this is the best plugin I've ever used. It sounds so great, and I mean, it, it's, it's just amazing. So I made this preset here, um, it's just a really simple one actually, um, with some hypers and some delays and some reverb on it. And um, this is just this track right here, and it sounds like that. Then I have a second track, which is just this one. It's um, at the A5. Um, and the last one, this one. So it's, a little, it's I think, one or two, oct yeah, two octaves higher. And all together you can see this makes a little difference actually. It makes it sound a little more, a little more, what is it called, a little more um, sad. Um, then we have this here. This is just some little extras. It's also, I think it's a serum, yeah. And we have a bass, which is this one. Oops, no, I don't want to do that. So yeah, then we have some um, autom uh, automation clips right here, which um, affect this track line here, this one. As you can see, if I'm gonna play it through, through you actually can see um, how this affects this. It affects this one and uh, the resolution I guess as well. Yes. Anti-sustain um, anti I think. It, it also affected the f uh, sustain. I can't remember. Is it the, no, the decay. The decay is affected, right? Then we have the vocal here. This is the original Morgan Page a cappella, which I put in here and put on some reverb and sound like that. Giddy up and go man, different place, different time, all the stars are in their prime. Pastel trailer park, stars so bright to hide the dark, all is quiet in the yard. That's actually the studio vocal. Um, then I have some some kick here, this one. This is just uh, really basic. I made this I made this for this remix. I made it with a um, drum computer. 
so that's why it's actually a um, a uh, uh, MP3 or WAV. I don't know what it, I think it's WAV. Yeah, um, and that's just this one. And after that, it comes in with some um, with some minimal hats. And um, then we have over here we have some special sounds. It's just this is quite important to prepare the the audience for the next drop or for the next part of the song. And yeah, what else do we have? Um, we have the mixer where my serum. I lot of I actually use a lot of grass speed with the side chain on it. I just use the normal sidechain, sometimes I use it like like uh, this, um, but um, not always, because uh, it depends on the song, you have really to hear, you, he you have to hear it. Um, and uh, there we go on the, on the first serum again, like Rust Beat, with the sidechain on it. And on the master, I just put on a W1 limiter. Which actually a really really good limiter. It's so small, but it's it's so good. Sometimes I use uh, isotope as well, which is this one. Um, but the problem with isotope is is actually if um, you do some uh, if you don't find the very the right the correct preset or you you are not good enough to do it yourself, then isotope is not the right um, is not the right solution to master your track. This is not mastered yet, but I don't think I'm gonna use isotope for it. I think I'm just gonna go with some limiters, because um, I have to. I, I just have the feeling it's not the right the right plugin to master this song. It just doesn't fit properly. And um, one really big, what what I do, what I have to say, as you can see in the master, I haven't done really much with the volume, but a lot of people do. I sometimes do as well. But as you can see, I did uh, almost everything here in the patterns. Now that's not because I like. That's not because it's better to do it like that. I'm just. It's just. Um, I'm just used to do it like that because I learned it like that. Um, but I, of course, I sometimes use this um, master mixer tracks as well, but uh, only to make like really really small changes. So with all that's been said, I'm just gonna let you listen to the whole track. And yeah, if you enjoyed the video, please make sure to smash the like button and comment on the video if it helped you. And why not subscribe to my channel for some new tracks when they come out? I don't even know. So yeah, just listen to it. I'm gonna I'm gonna put the mic directly in front of the monitors so you can hear it better. And you're good to go.
So yeah, basically that's it. See you on the next video, guys. Bye.